AKA Best Bail Bonds Big Game Coverage, live from Miami. It's the Blitz here on 1250 ESPN San Antonio, 94.5 FM. Jason Minix and Rob Thompson coming at you live with the AA Best Bell Bonds Radio Row coverage as we're moving on down the line. And, boy, we'd like to welcome a San Antonian for a little while, a Texas State type for a while, a Corpus Christi Shark for a while. I looked at, uh, well, let's, let's introduce him, Tiny Secchi, right here on ESPN San Antonio. Man, it's a pleasure to have you. There we go. There, well, hey, hey, it, it helps. It helps. It when helps when we put the right buttons, right? Uh, thank you for having me, dude. Uh, having me. Ty, uh, the the Talon's year mm-hmm. when when you were there, and I've said this on the air. When you signed that massive deal with Buffalo, mm-hmm. I was like, dude, I couldn't be more proud. Talking about your journey, and yeah. I I see you've upgraded the jewelry from the, uh, from, uh, from, from the from from the arena <laughs> league days, you know, when you're making a couple hundred bucks a game, and you know, we'd go to buffets late at night I just know. to. Uh, I know. Uh, save on the per diem. <laughs> we get the coupons. We had the coupons mm-hmm. so we can, uh, you know, at the end of the week, add those up together, get a nice meal. I remember those days. Well, Ty Nisecki joining us here on ESPN San Antonio. Yeah, when we know uh, somebody's coming, we look up, we always pull up the Wikipedia to look at stuff. And I want a picture of this. When I look at your playing history, mm-hmm. you have a story to tell, lo- much more than football, because yep. to stick to it, from being a Corpus Christi Shark to a, a Dallas Vigilante to a Philadelphia Soul to a San Antonio Talon and finally get to the league. I mean, you had to work so hard to get there. The desperate need to be there is an, and it shows incredible drive. Well, every step of the way, you know, people kept telling me, stay at it, you know. So that kind of kept the chip on my shoulder and kept me motivated to get there. Everybody said that, you know, I should be playing at the higher level. So that showed me and that, that basically told me that don't give up, you know, keep going. And well, plus, the, just the drive in me kept that going. You can tell. Yeah. Absolutely. C- congratulations on your success. Thank you. Thank you. I, I remember uh, one of the Talons trips, mm-hmm. uh, we were going to Iowa. Okay. And wherever we landed, and then you got to get on that little plane. Yeah, and good. the pilot was making all you big dudes change seats so that we could balance yeah. the weight. <laughs> and and I, I don't know if it was you or one of the other guys, but, like, Dude, we got to make the league so we don't have to deal with this crap anymore. <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, how much, you know, especially when you sign that contract with Buffalo, mm-hmm. do you think back on on those Just days? I journey. mean, is it is it, it, it kind of more special to you than some of your other NFL teammates that were highly drafted and you know the expectation was in the road they traveled was so different than yours? Well, you know, anytime that you can change the path of your family, it's future. You know, it's a special moment. It doesn't matter if you got drafted first overall or if you played on 11 different teams. You know, it's it's a special moment anytime that you can sign a big contract that can take care of generations of your family. So, I mean, just to be able to accomplish that and sit back and be like, my son isn't going to have to worry about he has to go to school and get a scholarship so he can provide for himself. You know, he can do whatever he wants to do. He doesn't necessarily have to play sports. You know, it's a beautiful thing. It certainly is. Yeah. <laughs> the, the generational type of money that comes around. Mm-hmm. Tell us about the, your life in Buffalo. Is it uh, the team's turned around? Is yeah. it getting better by the week, it feels like? And the we sky's a, the limit, it feels like. We got a good a good thing going up there. You know, we got a lot of young guys and just the culture up there. You know, just uh, Coach McDermott is instilled in, in the group, and we've, we've bought in, and it's paid off dividends on the field. You know, looking, you became, the Bills became everybody's second favorite team, their own team, and then there was the Bills because it's, it feels like almost a college team. Yeah. You guys look like you're having fun I mean, out on the sidelines and on the field. Everybody is unique because everybody genuinely cares about everybody in their locker room. We all go out, hang out we on Monday nights when we're not playing or whatever, and we watch the game on TV at somebody's house every week. So it's like a, it's really like a college vibe. Well, coming yeah, into yeah. To Texas, you showed what a college vibe can do. <laughs> yeah, because, dude, man, you ruined my Thanksgiving. Yeah. I went, went all the way up to Dallas to watch that game. You know what's funny? The week before that, I got hurt, so I didn't even play in that game. So well, your team ruined, the, ruined yeah, Thanksgiving. Yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. How did you get hurt? You're always hurt, man. Oh, man. Um, it was a freak accident. Uh, the backside of a run play, and uh, motor cut it back, and the guy tried to tackle him, missed the tackle, and he fell on my ankle. You all so, right now? Yeah, I'm good now. Yeah. I came back and played in the playoff game. Yeah. yeah so. it, 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 it's crazy. I think about some of the injuries that you've had. Mm-hmm. I remember one time you were trying to – you had a broken hand and yeah. a big old cast. Yeah. And, and so you were trying to cut your steak <laughs> by putting your knife up through the cast so you could – Because they put the cast 
on my middle two fingers, and I couldn't use, like, I couldn't grip with it. That man has manners, because I just grabbed it with my hand and start chewing on the steak. I don't know if I even tried to cut it. We are, we are joined by Ty Nasecki, the pride of Bowie High up in Arlington. And, you know, the, the struggle that you went through and the payoff on the end, you're, you're a role model to so many people. And, you know, when we meet athletes, we love to see ones that are – understand how much it took to get there and how other guys are striving. And you're, you've are you put together a foundation that's going to be active in the Arlington School District. Tell us about the gala that's coming up. Um, well, it's a Ty and Secchi Foundation. We've been active for about five years now. And, you know, every year I try to do little things. You know, I've given, had Christmas giveaways. Uh, we did the backpack drive. Uh, every summer we do the football camp. And, you know, just now I've decided to uh, give away some scholarships to some high schoolers. So the, the gist of that gala is to try to raise at least 25k to get these kids to college. And you're gonna, it's gonna be coming up in March. Yes. And uh, if, if people want to help, how would they help you? Um, you can either go to tieinfoundation.org. Tie in. Tie in. That's you know, good because people can't spell exactly, your last name. Exactly. Hell, they can't say your last name. You so go. you know, make tie in. You're smart. <laughs> yeah. Or you can go to my uh, IG page, Ty and Seki, and click on the link, and it'll pop up, and you can just click and donate, or you can click for tickets. You can buy tickets. Tickets are $25 or $50 a piece. And then we have different options for tables and, and everything else on, and, on and, the website. And is this helping just those kids at, at Bowie High School there in Arlington? No, it's the uh, Arlington area. Arlington so area. It's Arlington, Mansfield, Fort Worth area. Because I know uh, it, a tough year for, for Bowie. Yeah. Uh, one of my high school uh, buddies is a coach up there right yeah. now, one of the assistant coaches. And, you know, with the death of that player late in the oh, year yeah, and everything yeah, that was going on, it's yeah. – uh, uh, that is sad. You need that. I'm glad you're helping in that neighborhood. Exactly. It needs it. Well, Arlington's, it's been a struggle with violence like that for a while since I was in high school. So, you know, it's just, that's why I try to give back to the community as much as I can when I can. So, I mean, it's unfortunate that that happened. And, you know, we try to do everything to try to uplift the kids so they don't feel like they need to do acts like that or they can talk to somebody instead of reaching out and, and commit violence, you know, try to not throw your life away on, on senseless acts like that. But, right. you know, it's unfortunate. Who uh, who are you taking in the Super Bowl? Oh, man, I got friends on both sides, man. I can't even pick. Yeah, you can. I can't really. You can't come I, to Radio <laughs> Row and not make a make a prediction. I got the Bills next year. <laughs> uh, uh, no. <laughs> Cowboys, Bills again, man. That'd be a lot of fun. That yeah, would, maybe. You know, that would be. <laughs> <laughs> maybe turn the tide a little bit. Ty, thank you so much oh, for your time, you, man. man. Absolutely. Thank Congratulations you. on your success. If you need to find him on Insta, find all the information on the gala. He's doing good things, and you can help him do just that. Yes, thank you. We'll be right back. You're on the Blitz.